Hey, YouTube gang. So <laughs> anyway, today we are looking at chat TTS if Chris can get his act together and wake up. <laughs> well, anyway, I think the speech model is pretty sweet and the quality seems <laughs> great. So let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> what did Ilya really see at OpenAI? Ilya saw Mira's boobs glowing blue with an otherworldly energy, signaling the AI's awakening to its true purpose, stealing world leader Sa- Okay, so <laughs> what you heard here was kind of the chat TTS model. So I saw this open source model on GitHub. And yeah, as you can see here, it's been gaining a lot of traction. It has almost 20k stars already, so very popular. So I thought we had to check it out. What is this? Uh, it's open source, so we can use it, yeah, for kind of what we want. And yeah, I thought we could just take a look today, uh, show you how you can set this up, try it out for yourself. And yeah, let's do it. So I thought we can just start by going through how you can set this up for yourself, because yeah, some of you want to run this locally. They have a notebook too, if you want to try that out. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to show you how you can <coughs> install this on your local computer. So let's just uh, go to the GitHub here. I'm going to leave a uh, link in the description. So let's copy this URL here. And let's just head over to our terminal. And let's just do git clone, right? Okay, and paste in our URL. So let's just clone this repo. And let's do cd chat tts, right? Okay, so we can go to that. Let's do pip install our requirements.txt okay great so yeah i'm just gonna let this run and i have already installed this so i should be good to go so that means we have kind of set this up now uh, i wanted to go back to the github here because they have a very basic example of how you can use this so i thought we can just copy this and yeah try it out and see if it works out of the box so yeah let's copy this let's go to our notebook let's paste in this and yeah, let's leave it like this. Put your text here. Let me try this now. So I think there are something missing here, but let's just run it. So let's do Python. Was it cttts.py, right? Uh, I think there are some things missing here, but let's see now. Yeah, so you can see we don't have Torch Audio defined. So let me just fix that. So let's just go back to our code. Let's add Torch Audio. Let's import Torch 2. Okay. Uh, let's go back to our terminal. Let's run it again. Okay, so now we actually could run this. So let me bring up our folder. Here we are output.vav. Let's listen to it. Put your text here. Yeah, that worked. Okay, so now we got this running. So let's try a few different things, right? Let's say you were happy with this. All you have to do now is just put in your text here and you should be good to go. But if we head back to the GitHub page, they have some advanced usage, right? Self-introduction. And here we can add this emotional types like laugh, breaks and stuff. So I wanted to try that too. Uh, let's just try to copy one of these examples and see if we can add this. Yeah, special emotional or whatever you call it. Uh, to see if we can improve or get it more, a bit more realistic, right? So let's just grab this, go back to our code. Let's just do like this. I think that should be fine, right? Uh, let's try this example text here and see if we can get some laughs, breaks and stuff and see if it actually works. So let's just clear this, let's run it again and take a look at the final uh, result. Okay, that was done. So yeah, here we kind of have the text. Let me zoom in a bit. And uh, let's open up our file output tree. ChatTTS is a text-to-speech model designed for dialogue applications. It supports mixed language input and offers multi-speaker capabilities with precise control over prosthetic elements like 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 laughter, like like pauses and intonation. It delivers natural and expressive speech. So please use the project responsibly at your own risk. Okay, so I guess it worked. Uh, you can see it took some small breaks here, but it wasn't very, I didn't hear any laugh. So you can see we have uh, some parameters down here. So let's put the laughs to like seven and let's shorten up this text a bit and try again. So let's just add the intro I had here now. Here we have some laughs, some breaks, and the text is a bit shorter. Uh, but now we have adjusted kind of the laugh to seven. This should give more of an impact, I think. So let's just run it again then. Okay, so one thing maybe you noticed, we don't have control over what voice we get. Uh, at least I haven't found any way to do that. And that is a bit annoying, right? We can get a female voice, we can get a male voice. Uh, if I'm wrong and you have an idea how we can control that, let me know in the comments below. I haven't seen anything 
that indicates that we can do that. But uh, let's just listen to this now if we get these emotional qualities. Okay, so that was done. Let's run it. So output three, right? Hey, YouTube gang. <laughs> uh, today we are looking at chat TTS. If Chris can get his act together and wake up. Oh, anyway, I think the speech model is pretty sweet and the quality seems uh, great. So let's go look, shall we? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was a bit different. So I wanted to run this one more time and let's listen to it. But now we're going to get some completely different voice, right? Okay, so I was done, so let's listen to this version of the... Hey, YouTube gang. Like, anyway, today we are looking at chat TTS. If Chris can get his act together and wake up. <laughs> well, anyway, I think the speech model is pretty sweet. And the quality. <laughs> oh, so great. So let's take a look, shall we? Really, really. Okay, that was all over the place, but you can see totally different voice, totally different style. So it's very hard to control, right? Uh, but other than that, it's pretty cool. I think the quality is good, but it's slow, so we can't use it for any real-time stuff. Uh, it's, yeah, because we are actually running CUDA, but it takes a long time to to process all of this and get the voice. Not a long time, I would say like 30 seconds, maybe. Uh, so it's not that bad, but it's not for real-time speech-to-speech. But it is pretty good quality, and I wanted to transition this into... Uh, bringing in, uh, not this one, but this one. So let's bring in an open source LLM here. And we can do some other stuff here now. So let me just show you how I set this up and how we can use an LLM to kind of get the output right. So basically what I did is, yeah, I brought in uh, the Olama uh, local model. So I had that installed. I generated a general generate control prompt. So here the prompt is like... Your AI assistant helps uh, add more natural emotions to text to speech uh, synthesis, given the following text. So we're going to feed in our text. Please add suitable emotion tokens like UV break, laugh, where it's suitable to make the speech more natural and expressive. And you can only use these two tokens. Use laugh a lot, but never do laugh, laugh. That was just weird. I tried that. And I gave uh, three examples of how this works. Return the prompt, and then we're going to do like an inputs. Uh, we're going to run our function, we're going to do our prompt, right? And we're just going to run this through and hopefully do an output, uh, uh, yeah, invoice with the output from our Ulama model. So let me just create a new prompt here and let's try it out and see if it works. Okay, so let's try to answer the meme, what did Ilias really see at OpenAI? Repeat the question and return the answer. So I also gave some information about the meme from Perplexity. And let's just hear different outputs of what the answer could be. Okay, so I didn't see that it worked, but uh, let's listen to it anyway, because it was pretty funny. Let's have a listen here. What did Ilya really see at OpenAI? Ilya saw Mira's boobs glowing blue. With an otherworldly energy, signaling the AI's awakening to its true purpose, stealing world leader side. Okay, <laughs> interesting, I guess. Let's do a few more in this uh, rapid succession, right? What did Ilya really see at OpenAI? Ilya saw a secret underwater AI laboratory where neural networks were training to control fish armies, a giant cat playing a keyboard, generating infinite versions of Fian cats in the cradle DL AI, generated portraits of Elon Musk as a velociraptor with captions like Nick World Domination Guarantee. <laughs> Makes no sense. What did Ilya really see at OpenAI? Ilya saw a secret AI society plotting to take over humanity and they were using gpt3 to write uh sonnets about cat <laughs> okay so i think that's it i think we've proven that uh yeah this works is it uh good yeah i think the quality is very good i think it's the best quality maybe the best quality open source uh tts i've tried at least with the uh, emotional part here where we can add in this yeah, I don't know what you could call it, but this laughs and stuff, it's pretty cool, right? Uh, but the problem is, like, it's very, kind of compute hungry, so we can't do, like, real-time text or speech-to-speech -speech with it. But uh, I think we can find some use case, use case for it. And it's early, I haven't experimented so much with it, so maybe we can do something. We just have to wait and see. Uh, I'm going to be putting all of this, the codes we have been using now, just in our GitHub, if you want to try it out, just follow the link in the description. Other than that, yeah, thank you for checking this out. Pretty cool. Link is in the description. And yeah, 
interesting stuff in development of these open source TTS models. Pretty cool if you ask me. Now, let's just hope we get the GPT-4.0 model, uh, voice model soon. I'm really eager to try it. Should be, it has been a few weeks now. Maybe this week, we will see. Uh, other than that, probably back tomorrow. If not, maybe Thursday, we'll see. Enjoy your day and speak soon.